and welcome back to the channel to all my old and loyal subscribers and I want to say a special welcome to all the new people who have just joined all the new subscribers thank you very much I would like to also thank all the many people who have been watching I would just ask you one favor though you have watched and uh, it would be greatly appreciated if you would just hit that subscribe button so that we can grow the channel and while you're at it if you just hit the like button also that would that would help me out a lot you know to make sure that the YouTube algorithms know that you all like my content and that you want to see and hear more of it so with that let's go right into the second part of the flooring video and in this part of the video I'm going to talk a little bit about concrete flooring and epoxy flooring so here is the thing pretty much every flooring that is made in Jamaica starts out as being concrete flooring and generally we simply cover that concrete with whatever final flooring that we are going to use whether it's going to be wood or tile or whatever else that we choose but concrete can be in and of itself a rather nice flooring depending on how it is finished traditionally in places that United States concrete flooring is usually reserved for the basement areas and uh, garage areas because those are areas where you generally have the space to do concrete flooring concrete flooring does require a very strong sturdy foundation however as we said in Jamaica all floorings generally start out as concrete and then is overlaid with something else whether it be wood or tile or whatever it is so in this episode I'm going to talk specifically about finishing your floor with concrete or finishing with epoxy there are a number of things that must be considered when one decides that one is going to finish your floor in bare concrete and either cover it with epoxy or a clear resin or paint that floor or you're going to cover it with a polyurethane finish now one of the first things you need to consider is the fact that under normal circumstances your normal concrete floor can in fact have a, a small imperfections in the finish because those small imperfections would normally be covered over with your final floor finish tile wood whatever and as long as your floor is generally level then that does not present an issue if however you intend to not use any of those traditional flooring materials but instead you are going to go with an epoxy finish or a polyurethane finish then the concrete itself will have to be finished to a much higher level before and that is not as easy as it sounds so if you are going to finish your floor in epoxy or polyurethane then you need to consider the fact that it is going to take a little bit longer it is going to require a higher level of skill to finish the floor before you even get to the cost of using epoxy or polyurethane so if cost is the primary and overriding reason you are choosing between epoxy and any other floor finish then those are some of the considerations that you may want to look into before you make that decision so epoxy can be a very cost effective method especially when compared to something like wood floor like hardwood floor epoxy can actually be quite cost effective epoxy can and compare favorably also with porcelain finish if you are going to use a very high-end porcelain or a very high-end bespoke custom tiles so epoxy can be a very cost-effective method the aesthetic value of epoxy is highly dependent on the expertise with which it is finished and so that is something you will need to take into consideration people who do know how to do this very well tend to be very expensive to hire that may be something you may want to take into consideration also if you're simply looking for a different floor finish then we are going to just give you a basic idea of how epoxy works but before we do that let us define exactly what epoxy is so basically epoxy what we call epoxy is a combination of two different substances so one of them is called an epoxide and the other one is called a polymide now the epoxide is the liquid resin that is the thing that does all the filling the polymide is what does the hardening so when you put those two substances together you end up with what is called an epoxy resin one is water-based and the other is oil-based of course it must be noted that epoxy comes in many different qualities so you have 100% epoxy resin and you have percentage epoxy resin so when you're purchasing your epoxy resin you are going to look 
or the instructions on the tin which will then tell you what percentage of epoxy is in what you're purchasing also the moment you mix those two substances is the moment they begin to chemically combine and the result of that is a solid clear glass like compound you can then add color to it and it begins to harden immediately generally the resin will cure within about 24 hours and will be completely hard in around 72 hours now you can speed up the hardening and the curing of the resin by adding heat to it so the hotter the time is for example if you are doing this in a tropical climate then the faster your epoxy will cure so if you do not want your epoxy to cure very very fast then you will lessen the amount of hardener that you put in the resin so in the context of our own Jamaican application or in fact our own tropical application where would we put epoxy flooring well frankly epoxy flooring can be used in any section of your house but if you are simply looking for a very hard wearing surface or something that is different and you only want to put it in certain designated areas then there are some places where it would technically be more suitable than others for example in your garage epoxy flooring would be extremely suitable for that because it is hard wearing and it is resistant to things like oil and so on so you may have a vehicle that potentially could be leaking oil or other sorts of fluids in your garage then epoxy flooring is ideal for that because it is impervious to oils and other liquids other fluids that are likely to come from your vehicle it is also highly resistant to impact that makes it very suitable for a garage environment where you're likely to drop tools when you're trying to fix your car or let's say you live in a country for example and you use your garage to store your farming tools then it is also ideal for that application your patio or your veranda are two other areas where epoxy is also ideal and the reason for that is this your patio tends to get wet a lot it is the first place say for example there's a huge rainfall or something like that or somebody is just coming off the road or let's say again you live in the country so you're gonna come out from the fields or whatever because of course you're gonna have your little garden you're gonna plant all the things that you need to you know to be to have a sustainable and enjoyable life and so you are going to walk onto the veranda with dirty shoes or work boots or something like that again epoxy is extremely hard wearing and ideally suitable for that sort of thing now your kitchen well for the for the same reason that it is ideally suitable for your garage it is ideally suitable for for your kitchen floor because the forest in your kitchen well i don't know anyone who has never dropped something in the kitchen and dropping something on your expensive porcelain floor tends to be sort of a headache it cracks so epoxy flooring is ideally suited for that and of course the fact that epoxy lends itself to all sorts of beautiful designs especially if you are a very creative person so ideally suited for your kitchen as well the bathroom for the same reasons bathroom is going to get wet a lot and you can also mix and match colors and so on so it's ideally suited for your bathroom as well it's impervious to water and any other cleaning chemicals that sometimes get used in the bathroom now if we want to talk about your living room this is where you can get really creative with epoxy uh, there are many many different colors and there are people and with many many good ideas that can make your living room into an absolute beauty using epoxy and again to say it is ideally suitable for a living room would not be a true statement what would be a truer statement would be to say that it is another really great option for people who are looking for something that is just that much different and looking for something in which they can express their creativity when we come to the bedroom ah uh, no it is not ideally suitable for your bed epoxy can be rather cool to the feet to the touch um, but again if creativity is your thing and you're looking for something that is just that much different then yeah it can be used for your bedroom but to say it's ideally suitable that just like your living room I would say no it's not ideally suitable but it is a good option if you are looking for something that can express your creativity now having said all of that 
let's get to the meat of the matter relative to the application of epoxy. Epoxy is actually very, very easy and very, very simple to apply. Epoxy is self-leveling and if you have the correct tools and you have made the correct preparations with your substrate, with your base, that is to say your concrete floor, then the actual application of the epoxy is the least of your worries. There are specific tools that are used to apply epoxy, but before you do that, it has to be properly mixed. There are two parts to the epoxy. There is the resin and there is the hardener. That is your basic epoxy. You will mix your hardener and your epoxy resin together. You will then mix your color into that and then apply that to the floor. But before you can do that, you need to prepare the floor or whatever area that you are going to apply your epoxy because technically epoxy can be applied over any surface. Even though I stated before that if you are going to apply it to a concrete flooring, you need to in fact prepare that concrete flooring to a higher level than you normally would. There are creative ways of applying the epoxy to your flooring that does not involve the flooring being completely level. If you are looking to apply a very thick layer of epoxy over your flooring and you want to emphasize imperfections in the flooring itself, then that can also be done. But if the bottom line is simply to apply a relatively thin layer, usually about 10 millimeters or so of epoxy over your flooring, you need the flooring, the concrete flooring, your base, your substrate to be properly prepared beforehand and to be relatively level. And what that will do is ensure that after the epoxy is applied, then you would need a minimal amount of epoxy to achieve that auto leveling effect. Now, applying the epoxy over a concrete floor, it must be clean. It must be free of oils and dirt and loose gravel and anything else that would prevent the epoxy from bonding to that substrate, from bonding to that concrete underneath. So to prepare the concrete for epoxy, you first need to clean it. Then you have a choice. You can simply sand it and then wash it and apply your epoxy on top of that. Or you can wash the concrete, apply what is called an acid etching compound to that. That acid etching compound then needs to be neutralized with water, with usually a water vinegar solution, and then washed with water to neutralize everything, after which you can then apply your epoxy. So that is what makes it so easy to apply because as long as you follow the procedure to the letter, then you have nothing to worry about. Any amateur can apply. The difference comes in when you try to get creative and try to apply different colors and so on. Then you may run into issues. So the steps are very basic, as I said before. Clean your concrete or your substrate because it can be applied to floor. You clean your concrete, get rid of all the grease and oils, wash it, you remove any loose material that may be on it, mix your epoxy, apply your color to your epoxy, you then apply this to the floor in the prescribed manner. So yes, epoxy can be a very cost effective. No, it must be noted at this point that there is in fact something called epoxy paint. This is not to be confused with epoxy resin. A paint is exactly that. It is a paint and uh, epoxy paint is also known as elastomeric coating and uh, the reason it's called elastomeric coating is because it's elastic. That means that it's pliable. It is flexible. Epoxy resin is not flexible. It is hard. It is not brittle but it is extremely hard and it is non-flexible. Now in many instances epoxy paint or an elastomeric coating is applied over an epoxy flooring and that is just to protect the epoxy that is underneath. That allows the epoxy flooring itself to be refinished at a later date because the elastomeric or epoxy coating epoxy paint that is applied over the epoxy resin can be removed, can either be sanded off or it can be removed chemically. And of course, I say this because sometimes you may be looking for a cheaper coat, a cheaper flooring, and, and you may be introduced to epoxy and someone may tell you that, look, they can do an epoxy floor for you. So you need to know whether or not they are going to simply paint your floor with an epoxy paint or elastomeric paint, or they are going to apply an epoxy flooring to your floor. Now, my original intention was to present the epoxy along with polyurethane as a single video. But this video has gone on a little 
longer than I had expected. And so with that being said, I will present the polyethylene flooring next because polyethylene is actually much easier than epoxy to apply and it is usually applied over bare concrete, finished concrete or concrete that has been polished and that will be in the next video as well. As well, uh, concrete can be stained, polished and then stained in various colors and that can in fact be finished to another very very high standard. So in the very next video we are going to talk about bare concrete finishing, concrete etching and concrete coloring and staining and dying and all that sort of thing so again thanks for watching please do not forget to like subscribe and share the videos and as usual you all have a great day